Good morning and welcome to the Do3 Daily Briefing for Tuesday. Um, as always, well for, certainly for the time being, we're going to be starting off with the open water side of things because uh, we've got some new people uh, watching because we're being shared in the open water group as well. As always, if you're watching, just pop up and say hello, make some comments in the uh, in the box wherever you're watching it and uh, it'll pop up on my screen. And um, we'll say hello. If you've got any questions or anything like that as well, this is your opportunity to uh, to get those asked as well. So especially if you're in the open water group, say hello. Say hello to us. Um, okay, so starting off with the open water side of things then, um, I'm going to run through some, some questions in a second. But first of all, just to say that um, the Facebook group is still continuing to go bonkers. Uh, I think we're at 1,100 in there now. So obviously masses of interest. So thank you to all you guys for uh, for expressing an interest in that. Um, the sessions themselves have, I think they've sold out for the first two days of completely sold out. So that's five hours, um, five hours worth of sold out. Although someone just messaged me said they're going to cancel from Sunday. So keep an eye out for that because there'll be a spot coming up. Just in terms of booking in, you book in from the app through the app um, and um, for the Do3 app. And um, if you need to cancel, then just cancel out. Just cancel out, and what will happen is it'll go back on your card, and then the next person on the wait list, if there is one, will drop into your place. Um, or if there's no one on the wait list, then of course there'll be a vacancy pop up and someone else can, can grab that. The only thing I will say is that you must cancel out before 6 p.m. the night before the night before the session. You've got to cancel out 6 p.m. the night before the session because after that, it gets locked in. Uh, if you cancel out really late, you lose the session, I'm afraid. Um, and that's to uh, that's to make sure that uh, the system is given plenty of time to let other people get an opportunity because we don't want to we don't want space blockers. All right, so um, so make sure that you book out before six p.m. and then you don't lose the session. You know, you don't need to tell anybody or it's like some of the other sites. You don't need to um, you don't need to try and find someone to take your place or anything like that. You just book out. That's it. Forget about it, and then uh, and we'll sort it out from there. But like I say, don't leave it till after six p.m. because you will lose the session. You will lose the session. Um, okay, so that's that. That's booking, booking in, and booking out. So uh, right, let's go through some questions then. Um, we're going to be we're getting questions left, right, and center, and this is obviously what was going to happen. So we're starting off with the big ones, which we get asked all the time. The first one being asked, we were being asked was about age limits in relation to the swim sessions. Um, so children over 12, I'm just reading this from our, our actual um, our, our notes, actually, the kind of the, the operating procedures and our, our terms and conditions and things. Uh, children over 12 may swim subject to a parent or le legal guardian permission. They must complete a competency uh, assessment, which will be required, which will be required and they'll be required to wear a wetsuit and use a tow float, okay, which we'll provide. Uh, so we're providing tow floats for children, okay? So all children are going to have to wear a tow float, and we will provide that. The competency assessment is a simple one. We're swimming straight out from the start point, straight across the uh, straight across the lake, the narrowest part, turn around and come back. Uh, it's probably about, uh, I haven't measured it kind of width across there, but it's about 30 metres total. And obviously we'll have spotters and kayaks and all sorts of stuff keeping an eye on you so we'll just make sure that you're okay at swimming um you must be accompanied by a uh, responsible adult on site okay so not in the water with you but on site this is children over 12 um and under 12s competent uh, under 12s may swim with a parent or guardian at the discretion of do three staff contact us before booking so um under 12s, you've got to swim with an appropriate adult with you. Um, and also, you need to make us aware of that when you're booking. And we need to uh, we need to do a, um, we'll have a chat to you and see what experience you or the child has and make a decision there. So it is possible under 12. But um, yeah, so hopefully that, hopefully that covers that. Um, how do you book in is the next one on the list. I've just been through that. Go to the Do3, uh, go to the Do3 app or do3.co.uk forward slash Do3 slash app. Um, and uh, you can book in and pay via the app there. Uh, next one, do you need, what kit do you need? Well, you need a swim cap, goggles, uh, a wetsuit if you have one, uh, or if it's a swimming costume, if it's warm enough. And I'll go through that in a second. Uh, maybe a tow float if you think you'd be more more confident with uh, with a tow float. Tow floats, the little inflatable bags that you put around you, you attach to a, a strap around your waist, 
and it just drags along behind you. And if you need a rate, you need a rest, you've got a little float that you can hang on to, um, bobbing along behind you. Okay, so you can, uh, you, we'll be actually selling those on site. Um, so we'll be, uh, we'll be giving them to the to the the children to borrow. But adults must uh, must have their own tow float, or say we have them on site. Uh, what else do you need? Cap. So swimming cap. If you don't have a swimming cap, we've got those on site as well. They are six pounds. Uh, they're really nice quality uh, silicone swim cats, which cost us quite a bit of money, which is why we have to charge you. Um, and uh, yeah, so swim cap, goggles, wetsuit. That's it. That's it. Um, tow floats. Oh yes, yeah, so I'm getting some notes coming in. Uh, if you've got any questions again, just uh, fire them in. Got to. Corin, uh, one of the coaches who you'll get to know pretty well, is making a comment here. Toe floats are required if swimming without a wetsuit. Yeah, so if, you, if you're deciding to swim without a wetsuit, and I've got a feeling there will be quite a few at the moment, then you will need a toe float. Okay, so there's no non-wetsuit swimming without a toe float. Okay, so um, that's, for, uh, that's for safety reasons. So make sure that you have a toe float. Um, uh, what's the next one? So do you need a wetsuit? Okay, so we, in terms of temperature, first of all, let's just cover that first of all. Um, we will be recording and displaying the temperature for every session. Okay, so that will be there for you to see. Below, below 16 degrees, which it won't be at the moment, wetsuits are compulsory. Wetsuits are compulsory. Um, there is a bit of a, there's a bit of a, um, uh, an, an exclusion to that, which I'll go through in a minute. So uh, at temperatures over 22 degrees, you'll be warned about the risk of overheating in a wetsuit. Um, but you still can wear one and over 24 degrees we'll be recommending you don't wear them okay we'll be recommending you don't wear them that's competent swimmers if you're a newbie and you're uh, you're not going to be swimming for very long um, we can keep a closer eye on you then even if it's quite warm you can wear a wetsuit and we prefer that for safety reasons as well so um, we have to deal with the temperatures when they get hot uh, get pretty high we'll deal with individual swimmers as you book in so in general terms, um, below 16, wetsuits compulsory. Um, and then above that, you can wear them until it gets too hot. And then we start warning you that you shouldn't really be wearing them and it can get a bit, you can start to overheat. Um, if you are a, um, a skin swimmer or somebody who is very experienced in swimming in cold water, then you can swim below 16 degrees non-wetsuit. But we will have to, you'll have to make us aware of that when you book in. We'll have a conversation with you. We've got to figure out what kind of experience you have. Um, and uh, we will deal with you uh, on an individual, indiv individual basis. Okay. I hope that makes sense. Um, so uh, non-wetsuit swimming is permitted only after a swim assessment by a do three swim coach. Um, who will be there. There'll be swim coaches on site um, on the grounds that the swimmer uses a high visibility tow float attached to their waist, which is what I was just talking about before. Uh, and again, tow floats will be available for sale on site. Uh, wetsuits are compulsory for children under 16. Okay, I think I mentioned that before, didn't I? But they're compulsory for children under 16. Uh, I think that's that's most of the, well, that's not the main questions. That's the main questions we've actually kind of formally answered. We'll be doing a lot more today, so we'll keep on doing these. Um, uh, let's see what else we've got. Uh, will there be loos? We've got a question there. Will there be loos? Yeah, there'll be toilets there. No problem at all. Um, yeah, a question from a chap who's uh, an experienced skins open water swimmer, and that's relation to swimming in colder water. Yes, I've already answered that. That's absolutely fine. And um, blah, 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 blah. No. I want to try this and I booked a slot for Sunday. I don't have a wetsuit or swim float. Is it possible to hire or or hire? Is it possible to hire? Um, uh, we're not hiring wetsuits this season. It's something that we'll be looking to speak to partners for for next season. So no wetsuits, the answer to that is no. But again, tow floats, um, we do have those for sale. Um, and we've got some that you will be able to hire on the day as well so you can uh, you can either hire them or you can buy them on site on the day all right so i will be sending some further information out about that because um you need to buy them ideally buy them um, you'll have to buy them on your app because we're not taking uh purchases and things on site at the moment so you can buy them but they've got to be paid for through the do three coaching app because they'll be on there for you to purchase 
hope that makes sense but we'll, we'll, we'll clarify that to you anyway so so that's that um hope that makes sense we will continue to answer these questions as we go along we'll be popping them on the facebook page at the top of the facebook page all these frequently asked questions we've been asked hundreds of questions and we can't ask answer each one of them individually because we'll be here for two and a half years so um, we will be going through every single question, pulling them out, and then answering the questions on bulk on the website and on the Facebook page. And then we'll be doing this kind of thing as well to try and clarify it. Okay, so I think that's it as far as open waters are concerned. So we're going to move on to the rest of the briefing now. So if anyone from the open water side of things is watching, you can hang about or you can uh, you can dial out at this point. So what we've got, training. Let's have a look at the training from this morning. Let's have a look at the training from this morning. Uh, where are we? I'm losing my losing my head here. Here we go. So hopefully you can see that. Yes, there we go. So uh, same as yesterday. <laughs> same as yesterday. So uh, the sweet spot session on the bike. I'm not sure if anyone did that this morning, but the sweet spot session on the bike. Um, can you see my little pointer? I've got a new snazzy pointer there. Look. Okay. So if we click on that. We've got a long warm up, so four minutes, three minutes, two minutes, one minute building up the power, and then we've effectively got blocks of uh, blocks, four blocks of six minutes um, uh, at roundabout threshold pace. Okay, so a good, hard but sustainable pace. Three minutes recovery in between, and then a little ramp down the other end. That was the session this morning. Um, I haven't done today's swim session yet. Sorry, tomorrow's swim session yet. I'm getting behind here. I haven't done tomorrow's swim session yet. I'll be planning that shortly. That'll be popping up on Training Peaks as soon as I have a chance to write it. Um, but uh, tomorrow's bike session, we'll cover the bike sessions first of all before we talk about today's swimming. That's tomorrow's bike session. So there we go. So you can see a little ramp up there, a series of two minute blocks, then three minutes easy. And then we've got, these are all blocks of four minutes now. We, we're used to doing these kind of, um, short blocks of intervals but we've mixed it up a little bit it's not it's not particularly uh, sometimes we'll do a pyramid set but this is a bit all over the place and it's intentionally so so four lots of a minute four lots of 15 seconds and a few easy minutes four lots of 15 seconds four lots of 30 seconds few easy minutes and then four lots of a minute four lots of 30 seconds and then winding it down at the end there okay so these are all in training peaks uh, if you want to uh, if you want to go and have a look at a bit more detail or if you want to screen grab the screen if you're not on training peaks you can you can welcome to copy that off there um, or if you want to get involved you want to find out how you get access to training peak stuff then give us a shout too okay so so that's that let's close that down and like I say I will be doing the swim session for tomorrow at some point today. So the swim session we did in the pool then, um, as you can see there, lots and lots of, actually we're up in Solihull. I was in Solihull with Corin this morning and we actually did 100s. This session is actually set to do 133s, which is four lengths in a 33 meter pool. Um, but uh, we were doing 100s, but it's the same thing. So effectively blocks of five, so five 100s at a uh, kind of an easy pace just to warm you up. Five 100s at a moderate pace, which is kind of, seven out of ten ish on the effort scale and then blocks of 100s at eight out of ten which is a solid but again sustainable effort a few easy lengths and then we did the same thing again um at uh, seven out of ten and then eight out of ten all right simple as that that was what we did uh, that was what we did this morning and that's it for training so hopefully that was uh, that was clear it's a bit all over the place with that but never mind um Okay, what else have we got? So we've got the results from the race on Saturday. Results from the race on Saturday. I'm getting a bit confused here because I've got images absolutely everywhere. Well, let's have a look first of all at Zwift Power. Zwift Power, there we go. See my emails coming in. Oh, I'll show you them on the screen. Hang on. Too many gadgets, too many buttons. Here we go. So that's the that's the results from Zwift Power. Uh, looks like only four people who are actually registered on Zwift Power did the race on Saturday. Rich Simkis took it out uh, as far as the Do Three riders go. Rich Simkis there, look, got silver silver overall in this particular race. Everyone was in C category for this particular race. So normally it's related to the kind of power per weight, but everyone was linked. To, everyone was. Lumped together in category C for that particular race. Uh, one minute, sorry, one hour 20, 292 average watts, 308 normalized, so a good strong effort, 3.7 watts a kilo. 
Howard there, 3.8 watts a kilo, Howard. Um, Howard's obviously a little bit lighter. Um, for came seventh, Howard did. Corin 22nd, first lady. 3.8 watts a kilo as well for Corin. And then Jez there also uh, came 44th overall. Uh, 263 watts normalized. Now, I think we've also got, if I go back to this screen, we've also got... Uh, let's see if this works. There we go. This is pulled out of the uh, the app. So we've got uh, Rich Simkiss is on there in fourth. Fourth? I thought he was second. What's going on with this? I thought he was second. Maybe it's seconding. Maybe he was seconding category C, but fourth overall across all the categories. That must be what that is. Don't quite uh, don't quite understand that. Never mind. Um, okay, so he's fourth on there. Howard's eleventh. It says Howard's seventh on there. I don't know what's going on with these results. Anyway, I'm going to keep on going through them. Can you see that? Can you see that? Let's get rid of that one. There we go. Okay, there's Corin there, 31st. Don't know why I'm showing you this, because it's the same as all the other stuff I've just shown you. And there's Jez. There's Jez, 63rd. Anyway, that's that. That's that. Let's get rid of this. Okay, so that's the race results. I think that's it. I don't think there's any birthdays or anything like that. Let's see who's been commenting. I feel like I'm not with it today, but uh, it's not a great surprise to some people, I guess. But anyway, morning, Joe Granger. Morning. Um, saw you in the pool this morning, didn't we, Joe? James Hodges, saw you in the pool as well. And Pat, all three of you. Morning, Pat. Good to be back swimming. Yes, it was good to see you all again this morning. Great to be back over at Tudor Grange. Seeing the smiley faces. Well, they're smiling at the beginning. Um, and uh, yeah, good to be back there. Morning, Ian. Ian Dickens. Uh, ben Chat, great to be back this morning. Same coaching points as looked before lockdown. Nothing changes. <laughs> I think it's the same for most people. Uh, what we're doing, for, we're going to give you a bit of breathing space for a couple of weeks and let yourselves get a little bit fitter before we start pulling strokes to pieces again. All right, so we're, we, we are seeing things at the moment with strokes, but we're, we're not going there. Okay, we're going to give you a chance to get back, get back into the rhythm before we start um, uh, pulling you up for doing weird things with your strokes. Kate Miller, good morning from sunny Weymouth. Kate, are you swimming down there? Must be swimming weather down in Weymouth at the moment. Or oh, the sea must be, uh, must be good enough to swim in. Right, Neil, uh, thanks again for all your hard work, guys. You obviously put in... To Get the pool swimming going again. Great. It's gone. Great session this morning. I think that's kind of uh, challenging but enjoyable, that kind of thing. Um, hard work, Neil. Yeah, we have been working hard, but it's all good. We love it. We love it. Morning, Corin. Already seen you today, Corin. Uh, Amy Hinton. Are magic pants allowed? Yes, magic pants. For open water. Yeah, you can wear magic pants. Yeah, why not? Magic pants. Uh, we're not racing, so you can training. All good. Magic pants. Come along with your magic pants on. If you don't know what magic pants are, then I, best, I guess I better explain it. They are buoyancy shorts. We generally call them magic pants in the squad because they, uh, they do all sorts of magical things for people who have a little bit of difficulty keeping their legs up in the water. All right. Uh, and they are genuine uh, tw swim training aid. So, uh, Someone call them cheap pants. I don't like the name cheap pants because they're not cheap pants. They're there for a reason. It's like using a pool boy. In fact, it's better than a pool boy a lot of the time, in my opinion, because you can still kick uh, and use your legs. Um, that's Amy's reply to that. We'll, uh, there we go. Amy's quite happy about that. So uh, it's all good. All, good, all good, Amy. We're here to please. Um, what else have we got? Ian Dickens, no magic pants should be banned from all sessions forever. So Ian's in, uh, Ian's in complete agreement with you there. What's that say, Michael? Right, I'm going to put this. Michael, here we go. I don't even know what that says, Michael. Not gone. Face the Facebook link. So, good morning from Michael. Looking forward to semi-drowning tomorrow morning. Okay. <laughs> I get the second half of your message. First half, completely lost me there, mate. Completely lost me. I think are you still out? Are you still out from last night or something? Anyway, I don't know. But looking forward to seeing you too, Michael. Anyway, uh, Facebook user, not sure who that is. Looking forward to tomorrow. What's happening tomorrow? 
Is it you coming back to swimming? Somebody's coming back to swimming. Um, and that's it. I think we're done. All right, so we shall see you. Oh, we've got our open water trial session tonight. Don't turn up unless you've been told or invited because we can't have all and sundry just pitching up. Okay, so we're doing our we're doing our testing session tonight um, to make sure everything's running smoothly, ready for the big day or the first big day on Sunday. I have had a few people say to me, "Oh, I'm looking forward to coming. Uh, I'm looking forward to coming open water swimming on Sunday." And I'm thinking, uh, I hope you're not, because it's not this Sunday. It doesn't start until next Sunday. Um, so, oh no, what am I talking about? Oh, Tuesday. They were saying, I'm looking forward to coming swimming tonight. And I'm like, no, there's no swimming tonight. It's next Tuesday. So just to clarify, tonight's session is only for testing. And you should have had an invite. And we've been speaking about it. So if you're if you're invited and you're coming, you'll know about it. Uh, if it's a proper booked in session, they start on Sunday and then Tuesday next week. All right. So what else have we got? Michael Griffiths, not sure I've done the Facebook link. Michael, you have because I can see you. I can see your name. I can see. I can see this. I can see this face and the name if you've done the Facebook link. So you've obviously done it. Otherwise, you look a bit like that. That's what I get if you haven't done the link. Okay, so you've done it. It's all good. Don't worry about it. All right, so that's it, guys. Um, I shall see you tomorrow. All right, take care. Bye.